I'm, I'm loving the series and uh, I can't wait to see more of it. But I want to go to the beginning of your time before the series. I'm wondering what your relationship was with space uh, growing up. Were you dr you know, dreaming of going to the stars like everyone else? Our experience was interesting where, for me, one of the things I remember the most is the Challenger explosion, actually, like the TV being rolled into our classroom and literally watching as it happened in front of our eyes. So it actually put a damper on, on what space was and what was possible in a way that I think Matt and I explored. You know, when we came up with the idea for the show, I think a lot of it was with the idea of what could have been with the space program. Um, and maybe maybe that tragic experience that really does stayed with us and continues to stay with us helped inform the idea of like, what if we kept going? What if we continued? So not the brightest, happiest answer, but that, <laughs> but the honest one. Yeah. Does, how much does this series satisfy that, you know, curiosity of what can happen? You, you pretty much have a, a blank canvas. So what's it like exploring that? It's, it's really um, fun to be honest, because like Ben said, uh, you know, that our initial experience with the space program was kind of on the downswing in the real, uh, real history of the world. So in our alternate history, we get to explore what was possible if we'd kept investing in developing technologies and exploring our solar system. And so it's kind of a wish fulfillment uh, for us of seeing what human beings are capable of if we're pushed to be at our best, while also acknowledging the, you know, the reality of human beings are that we're very complicated beings and sometimes we always don't make the, the best decisions. And I'm watching the series with my daughter who dreams of working for NASA one day. And what is it like knowing that you're inspiring the future space explorers, scientists, or the future Matt and Ben's? Honestly, that that to me is the, the greatest gift of doing a show like this, that whenever we hear about someone who's inspired by the show to, to enter, become an engineer or get involved in NASA or want to do that, it's it's so fulfilling. Um, you know, when you when you go into this field, the idea of doing a show like this and having it go this long is a dream that not many people are able to capture. I think the fact that here we are in the fourth season and story like your daughters or story we've heard from people at Comic-Con come up to us and say, I got into engineering because of the show or I got into space. I think like we said earlier, that's sort of the dream of the show really, that if it helps inspire younger people to get more involved, maybe that can get governments to get more involved and corporations. And then really the, the dream of the show becomes the reality. Yeah, what's great about it is the is how much it's set in reality. So when she watches it, she's actually getting to see to learn a lot and to kind of change the way you think. You know, you, you're used to watching like a Star Wars or something that's you know yeah. mostly fiction or all fiction. Yeah. Um, and and this is definitely rooted in science, which is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So, it's it's very important to us that, that exactly what you said that um, the 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 thought behind all of that science in there is to make it feel as real as possible so that it does uh, lend that air of authenticity and say to the audience, this is possible. And you also go beyond space and it's about human, you know, mankind. What do you think this series says about the humanity as a whole, especially when this like kind of troublesome time when we're, you know, it seems like we had some things sorted out and then every time we build it up, it, it crumbles down. Yeah. Um, what's your version of reality say about humanity? I mean, it, it it's that's well put. I, I think for us, a common theme on the show is that no matter how much, how many enemies you have, how much you hate the other side, working together is the only way to push forward for progress, for true progress. You know, I think the show started with this rivalry between the USSR and the US. And now by season four, the two, the two sides are working together for a common cause. In the world we live in today, I mean, the things we're reading on the news right now, it's really dark. It's really depressing. And I think it's unique to have the opportunity to work from a sci-fi show that is optimistic, that speaks to what's possible and not a more dystopian dark future. And it's one of the things we're really proud of. That's great. And I'll close with this, just three words to describe season four. Three words. Hmm. Uh, I would say uh, asteroids, asteroids, asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> I would hey, that say, works out. I think, uh, greed um you know and upstairs downstairs there's three words <laughs> excellent well thank you so much i i saw the premiere at 
uh, Comic Con. I was there mm -hmm. listening to you speak about it, and I look forward to seeing the rest of it. So, thank you so much. Thank you and hi to your daughter. Have a great day. Uh, thank you.